Man said I had a threesome a couple years ago and it was great. I think that medicine got you hallucinating or talking out your mind or something. I know what I'm talking about. You're just stupid. That's why I love you. Because you you stupid. You believe anything I say. I done cheated on you so many times. Mm. So many times, huh? So let me ask you this. Last night when you said you was going to work, where was you at? Uh, I was at my baby mama's house. I got a baby on the way. I don't have no, I'm not pregnant. Everybody talking about you, stupid. I got my side piece pregnant. Oh, I'm stupid. I'm stupid. What? Well, I can't wait to go home and whoop your ass. You gonna be right back up here at this ER. What? You gonna be right back up here. What? You got a baby on the way having three sons and How? How? You? That anesthesia is a truth serum. I done seen plenty of videos of people getting f***ed over because they get to talking while they on that anesthesia. Damn, he, he, boy said that's why I love you because you stupid. I done cheated on you so many times. Yeah, he going down. <laughs> he going down. Your partner's going to sit in the back seat in the middle, legs wide open. You are going to sit with your legs together on your partner's lap, and then you're going to take your elbows over the insides of the front seat to kind of like pull your weight up and then you can come up and down. What's great about this position is you can also grab the headrest, lean back and do some grinding or you can even lean back over one shoulder of your partner and grind like this. Your partner's going to... Pardon me. Denea! Hello? Hey, it's calling me? Yeah, I need you to come downstairs. I need you to look at something right quick. Okay, here I come. Alright. Yeah. I need you to look at something right quick. Your partner is going to sit in the back seat in the middle, legs wide open. You are going to sit with your legs together on your partner's lap, and then you're going to take your elbows over the insides of the front seat to kind of like pull your weight up, and then you can come up and down. What's great about this position is you can also grab the headrest, lean back, and do some grinding, oh or God, you can God. even lean back over one shoulder of your partner and grind like this. Your partner is going to sit in the back seat. <laughs> this one asked me. When you want to try that? I saw this like two months ago, and I saved it. So how come you never tried that on me? You saw it too. You were holding out the information. But you're just going to pull it out? Pull it out the stash? Mm-hmm. Oh. Maybe after a date, you know? Is that shade? Was that shade? You said after a date. Mm -hmm. Wow. Where are you going? You don't have consent to record a f***ing baby, you stupid That's very misogynistic of you. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it is. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it is. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you to record a child? Why are you misogynistic? Why are you a fucking See, misogyny just oozing out of I you. I swear to God, have you ever got your ass Oh, what are you gonna do right now with the cops right there? Have you? Is that why you act the way you do? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? You resort to physical violence because you're no, you the way you are. No, you have consent to record a little baby. I have a right to record whoever I want in public. No, you uh, Yes, I do. No, you Yes, I actually do. Man, you're too easy. You need to go to anger management for real. Therapy. Medication. Something. In this situation, the camera, the lady behind the camera is a Karen. You cannot be out here taping people's children. And then she came out and said, you are so easy. Which... Leads me to believe that she's an energy vampire. Energy vampires are real and they're out here. 
I hate people like that. I, I dis I dislike people. Say if you're a grown man and you're trying to grow your hair up, that ain't it. That's not for us. That's not for you. That's not that shouldn't be for anybody. Like, if you're a grown man, your your hair should literally be if you're not bald headed with like a beard, if you don't got a clean little fade, you know, the little afro look cool when it's edged up and it look all nice and and if you got dreads, they gotta already be dreads. And they got, you know, you gotta keep your shit up. But like, hell no, nah, don't come nowhere near me trying to start no freaky shit. Like, all that mohawks, all that freaky ass type of shit. Nah, hell no. Nah. No man 30 plus should be experimenting with his hair. Really, not nobody 25 and up. You should already know what you wanna do with your hair. You know what I'm saying? Like, hell no. Nah, it's just certain things. I don't play that. I don't play that with that shit. Hell no, nah, hell no. Nah. I guarantee you she changed her hair every week. Why is it that we as men just can't live? Why we can't just be ourselves? Why is all all these rules that we need to follow for y'all, bro? See, now she she got me sound like one of them red pill niggas, and, and that's not where I'm at. That's not where I'm at. I just dislike the fact that motherfuckers always trying to set some type of standards for us men. <laughs> Every man has went through this. If you live, if you live with a woman, every man has went through this. That fool just being there, struggling, calling your name. Cause when there was blindfolds, see he messed up. He's supposed to cut it. He's supposed to cut it neat. Oh yeah, he messed up. He messed up. Mm. You're supposed to cut it neat. See? That's why you're supposed to cut it neat. It's over with, bro. You fucked up. Every man has went through this. I know I go through this plenty of times. My wife would come in here. She would have um, any type of snack, bro. The last time she had like some cheesecake, it was just sitting there. It was just sitting there, and I felt as though she must have known that I ate it. Because the, the day I ate it, she came home making a big fuss, talking about, oh my God, on my drive home, I was thinking about this. Bro, what the hell? Oh! <laughs> oh, nah, he about to volley. I'll volley too. <laughs> I felt it. I felt it. I felt it. Yo, this one of them ones, bro. I don't got no comment. This one of them ones. I don't go out the private gets punked out bro. by a rapper and his crew for joyriding in his you car, in car and getting ticketed. So Bro, you, 
I'm gonna need my seven thousand dollars that I gave you for my car. But I'm gonna need that. Did you say you wanted to drive my car? I know what type of joke you think I am, bro. I, I need my bread, bro. I need my seven thousand, bro. Just get my money, bro. Bro, bro listen. All I'm gonna do is tell you this, bro. So, what time is it? So you ain't got it here. What time is it right now, bro? Six o'clock, bro. I'm, 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 I'm gonna give you till seven thirty, bro, to get my motherfucking money, bro. If you want to continue to do business in Sacramento, bro, if you want to continue to have your shop, I don't know what your shop is worth to you, bro. I got the lawyers too. That's well deserved. I'm sorry, but that's well deserved. You can't be out here joyriding in people's car. You can't you can't do that. You cannot be out here joyriding in people's cars. I had a similar incident, but I couldn't prove it. When I first got my challenger, not the one I got now, but the V6, I took it to Pet Boys to get an oil change. Now that was stupid of me, because really you should be taking them type of cars to the dealership. But I took the car to Pet Boys to get an oil change. I remember hearing somebody doing a pull. Next to Pet Boys, and I'm like, damn, somebody getting it out here. I'm talking about they was vroom, vroom, just getting it, bro. I didn't know my car was gone until I seen the um, mechanic pulling up in my car, and my freaking gas was not where I left it when I got out the car, when I bought the car in it. My gas was not where I left it when I bought the car in it. Now, it's not like it went from full to empty. But it moved, I want to say it moved about a quarter of a tank. Only how you move in a quarter of a tank on a Challenger is if you driving far as hell or you was pulling. You was doing some, some fucking pulling, bro. But I couldn't, I couldn't prove it. In my mind, I'm like, maybe I'm tripping. But I think that's really what happened. This man did an oil change for me. I know sometimes they drive the car around to make sure that it's, it's good or whatever. But... He did an oil change for me and he took my car on a joyride and brought it back.